end in preparation on the second weekday preceding the first Sunday of Lent. Let us in personal reflection and prayerful meditation focus on the thematic signposts that the Church offers us on this annual journey within our life's journey in time towards eternity. The call is for awareness in our transient and fragile human existence, for repentance for our willful refusal of the guiding hand that accompanies grace offered by the Lord at all times. The call is for conversion through prayer and penance, for transformation through the new life that this graceful season of Lent offers to one and all who accompany Jesus along the way of the cross. Our prayer is for persevering fidelity in responding to His call and invitation to receive the blessings of the fruits of the resurrection promised here and now and hereafter in heaven. Although generally it is clear that for a meaningful pursuit of the human existence, every individual and each group, community, society requires to maintain a rightful balance in the quest for the realization of its legitimate objectives and genuine responses to the accompanying challenges arising from nature and society, specifically for the season of Lent, one needs to draw inspiration from the complementary realities of life, fast and feast, drawn from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 14 and 15, that offers the query, why do your disciples not fast? And Jesus' response, can the guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The former refers to renunciation and mortification, fast, while the latter, feast, points out to merriment and rejoicing. Let us draw attention to the fact that while absence of the Lord renders our life here and on earth empty of purpose, and bereft of meaning that only ends in a hopeless echo of the words, hopeless and damning words, dust you are and in dust you will return. Faith, on the other hand, in the accompanying presence of the Lord at every moment and in all spheres of human existence offers substance to the purposefulness of creation and the fulfillment of in God's own time. Let us then, today, respond wholeheartedly to the appeal of the psalmist. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Hail the Lord who saves us, and may the Lord be glorified now 